Welcome to Back Issues, everybody. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Today we're going to talk about Avengers Ultron Unlimited. I get this name mixed up every time I say it. I'm like, I'm going to check out Ultron Unleashed. I, I mean Ultron Unlimited. <laughs> this is the one everyone refers to. It's, I think, the impetus behind Age of Ultron, which is another one. Oh. But that's the movie I'm talking about, not the book that we also talked about. Uh, okay. Which is way better. Oh. What a great book, Age of Ultron. Wolverine just bebopping and scatting through time and fucking things up because he's Wolverine. He don't know any of that book learning. I don't care about the time stream. I'm gonna make Angela from Spawn be in our universe. You now. know what's great? My claws and stabbing things. Yes, yeah. and I think that's how I'm gonna solve every problem I've ever had in my life. Kurt Busiek and George Perez would also go on to like, basically make the Avengers the thing that you think of when you think of the Avengers. Mm. And also they did JLA Avengers, which is arguably the greatest <laughs> intercompany crossover of all time. And it's why we're going to revisit that episode. And oh, nice. you can buy that again now. No, you can't. Oh, it's already gone? Oh, it's, George Perez deserves uh, you know, a statue and he'll have to settle for being one of the best comic book artists of his generation. And uh, and, and he's, his, his contributions are numerous and can't be understated, and his contribution will hopefully never be forgotten. We love you. Thanks for, thanks for everything. And for this, it, now let's make fun of it. Uh, <laughs> but, We're not going to uh, make fun of the art, are we? No, I don't think so. We usually don't. We usually Some, don't. Sometimes. So, uh, yeah, Depends so, on the art. Mm, it really yeah. does, yeah. And I, I try, you know, we, we don't do a lot of prep for this show, but I do try once in a while to be like, let's get a book that doesn't just look like complete garbage. <laughs> There's one book. We will do where the art is unforgivable. <laughs> and hilariously, that guy has a TikTok who talked about that book like 20 years later and how proud he is of it. And I was like, I'm just watching it like, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I mean, how can you now defend I gotta know. this book? Maybe it's hindsight, you know, no. roast into glasses. Well, he never. He never drew another one. That opportunity will never come again. And when you see it, you'll know why. <laughs> when you see it, you'll <laughs> shit bricks. <laughs> Avengers Ultron Unlimited, written by Kurt Busiek, art by George Perez and Stuart Eminen. But this is the Avengers. We're giving you the Avengers, the way you remember them. It's Ultron. It's their largest, most personal villain. Right. You know, Hank Pym created him. It's his fault. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this comes on the heels of Heroes Reborn. So the Avengers have had a couple of adventures since, but the idea here is in the Marvel Universe, the Avengers died fighting Onslaught. Right. And then they disappeared and were unfortunately drawn by Rob Liefeld for a little while, and now they're back. So How did they come back? They Well, they came... One day we will do Heroes Return. <laughs> Because they, already, they, they were reborn, and now they were well, turned. That was well, different they were ones reborn, that were reborn in a pocket universe made by Franklin Richards, where right. they're drawn by Rob Liefeld. But they had to come back because that sucked, <laughs> and didn't sell as well as Marvel paid. Mm. Oh, and Marvel paid. <laughs> they paid like you wouldn't believe. They paid Rob Liefeld and Jim Lee and company the way that DC paid Frank Miller to return mm. to the Dark Knight but we will talk about both those stories again <laughs> later on. For now, that ended, and then they came back. Captain America and the Avengers were unsellable, right. so then they had Mark Wade and Ron Garney do Captain America, and it was on its way up, and they were like, well, we already made the deal. Yeah. You're canceled. So then after they got back, they were like, well, let's just call like uh, Mark Wade and Ron Garney Aww. to do uh, Captain America. <laughs> well, that was working, right? Yeah, I and hope they said fuck you. They didn't. No, they took the job. They took it. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I like choice. money and eating. Yeah. yeah, no, they needed that job. Uh. <laughs> I mean, plus they weren't done, and they're they, you know they're like no, we we got to tell our we're telling the rest of our story. Yeah, uh, that's just. It's, I know. It's it's too bad they weren't busy with other meaningful product yes. projects at the time. Nor they were they say like oh, uh, you missed your fucking chance. Yeah. No. How about that? Yeah. No. Now, image snatched us up. Plus, like the image revolution was over. Mm. by then like by I mean clearly the image revolution was over because Rob Liefeld and Jim Lee drew Marvel characters yep. for money yep like, it was over for them so <laughs> interestingly enough Jim Lee tried to sell Wildstorm to Marvel really like part of the deal of drawing the Fantastic Four and hmm. some of those Marvel characters was 
well, I have all this shit I created from the ground up that I clearly don't care about. Right. Can I? Do you want it? Can I sell it to Marvel in exchange for an executive position? Oh. And they said no. They, they, well, it, it didn't work out. But <laughs> DC said yes. Yeah. And Jim Lee has been an executive at DC ever fucking since. What's funny about that is it's a better deal because if Marvel had said yes, they would have owned Wildstorm, filed for bankruptcy, completely reorganized their entire mm. executive department, and Jim Lee would have gotten the axe and still have not had Wildstorm. Yeah. So it worked that out. That is the better. It was, yeah. it was a better deal. Yeah, but is, is DC doing anything with it? Occasionally, Grifter will appear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or someone, that's will, it. someone will remember the Wildcats. You know, Gail Simone will try and fail at rebooting Gen 13. <laughs> but yeah, leave Gen 13 alone. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I would argue <laughs> that maybe there's something there because I, I do believe that every character outside of like NFL Super Pro has <laughs> some depth or possible exploitation I forgot about NFL Super Pro. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I think there are other care. I think you can you can do anything with Gen thirteen. Like there is an opportunity there because it's just it's a team. Of can you tell good stories? Sure, you yeah. have to find the right people to tell those good exactly. stories. Yeah, but yeah. that's not why they were making that comic. They no. weren't making that comic yeah. for good stories. I, I mean, like no. So, yeah, was, no. That's right. <laughs> they were sexy X Men. Yes, sex men. If you <laughs> the Avengers are back and they've had a couple of adventures, and it's not. Are as, they doing okay? What do you mean? Well, like, are they, they like, winning their they adventure? Just they are, out of the they gate, or are they team? like, we're they're, back, baby? Uh, they're winning. Okay. I mean, they're drawn by George Perez, so we're all winning. But yeah. like, at the same time, uh, the court of public opinion is out on the Avengers. Like, maybe they're not being welcomed with open arms like they oh. expected to be. Like, every press conference they have in this, and they have two, blow. <laughs> it doesn't go well for them. Does the world understand what happened? They thought they died, and then they're back. Okay, so as far as the world knows, they died. Yes. They don't know anything about they no pocket universe. They have no idea universe. about Rob Liefeld. Right? right, okay. They were like, why did you look like that, Captain America? <laughs> why were your feet so pointy? <laughs> he, he didn't have to explain that. And and do the Avengers remember being in the pocket universe? No. Or they weren't ever really there? That was somebody else that was there? Okay, so or... it was definitely them, but now it's not. Okay. Like, later <laughs> on, they will return to the Heroes Reborn universe. And those are different versions of them. Okay. That but, like stayed there. Yeah. Yeah. It's right. like it's like they were there definitely, but when they left, uh, it's like a transporter accident. Like <laughs> the Heroes Reborn universe is the Tom Riker of the Marvel multiverse. Wonder Man is back to life. Ah. He was not at the battle. Right. But he did return. He had died previously. He had right? died well before. Yeah. Uh, but he's back now, and his brother, the Grim Reaper, is an Avengers villain who they had to battle. He's going to come back up, which is why I bring him up in the first uh, place. Okay. But he is all the only thing you need to know about Grim Reaper, besides the fact that he was murdered unceremoniously in Tom King's The Visions, is <laughs> that he also is Simon Williams, Wonder Man's brother. So sometimes when the Avengers have to fight Grim Reaper, the Avengers have to go, oh, don't like punch him too hard, or Simon will complain. <laughs> or Simon will be like, you're my brother, damn it! You know, some bullshit like that. I mean, I've Yeah, never, we gotta hear it every time. I've never read a Grim Reaper story I liked. Mm. So he's in it too. Sometimes. Not even when he dies in the vision. That book is amazing. <laughs> and his death is fine. It takes stuff like Kurt Busiek and George Perez combined to create, craft this narrative of nostalgia so that the Avengers can resemble your nostalgia for them. Mm -hmm. Right, because... Yeah, don't you remember how much you liked them back when they looked like this? Yeah, but also, I don't know if you ever liked the Avengers. Like, I sure didn't. <laughs> but I remember looking at another... But you heard of them. I've heard of them. And I have, like, an idea about what the Avengers were. Right. But then you read, like, another Ultron story. That might be Ultron Unbound, where it's mostly the Avengers West Coast. Fuck that. <laughs> and also War Machine's there. And he shows up like, maybe I'll join. And they're like, maybe you will. And he's like, never the fuck mind. <laughs> what great attitude. <laughs> they give him a little bit, like the barest amount of resistance. And he's like, get the fuck out of here. You are the oh, okay. West Coast Avengers. I, I you should be licking my boots. It was a mistake <laughs> for me to come here and he flies the fuck away. That's awesome. The only like, other mistake he makes is not blowing them up. <laughs> right. Like, I'll shoot you with my shoulder-mounted cannon. But yeah, no, that's the Avengers. It's just a bunch of unsellable characters 
that are all on a team together, whinging for some reason. Yeah, that's why they don't have their own books. They are on a team uh -huh. because that's the only way we can get them out. Yeah, I ain't selling Scarlet Witch books. <laughs> You're saying that people's memory of the or vague recollections of the Avengers isn't really based in reality. I think it isn't. Just based on the fact that people keep talking about the Avengers. Yes. It's like, well, I guess they were pretty good. Yes. There's a moment in this book that pretty much cements that where, and it actually reminds me of like the classic Avengers book we talked about, mm -hmm. where in every issue they refer to the Fantastic Four as being way cooler. <laughs> and in this, the Avengers almost all die and Grim Reaper remarks to himself, well, maybe the Fantastic Four will be Ultron. <laughs> just offhandedly and it's like yes because that's the Avengers yeah. but if you look at it through the lens of Busick and Perez you're like maybe they're onto something like maybe the Avengers were always cool no but when you have those people working on it and you get to like the Avengers for, like the Avengers never stopped is the point mm -hmm. you know and they were always a thing they were always a brand yeah right. they were always trying yeah they were always trying to get you to buy them <laughs> and for some reason Marvel always put it out and maybe it's because of market saturation, or maybe there was something there. I pissed off a lot of Avengers fans, <laughs> and I'm sorry. Because like, listen, I'm a Spider-Man guy. I'm an, I'm I'm I'm, a, I'm I'm swinging over the Avengers, or I'm down in the gutter under the Avengers. Like the Avengers are always this lofty concept that was just in the clouds. They're always better than you. Mm -hmm. You know, they're a team. They're sanctioned. They got money. They got ID cards that are like <laughs> cell phones. No. But going back and revisiting the Avengers, I can tell you they've had a tumultuous time <laughs> from the 60s to the 90s. Same with the X-Men too. Yes, because the X-Men, yeah. unlike the Avengers, were canceled. There's a time when the X-Men was fucking canceled. And then they came back and Chris Claremont's like, you're fucking welcome. <laughs> and the, and the X-Men have never stopped being a moneymaker, except for that time <laughs> when, uh, you know, but that wasn't the X-Men's fault. <laughs> that was no. an artificial... That was an artificial scarcity thing. Yeah. But, uh, I love it because one of the things you think about when you think about the Avengers, for me, maybe not being an Avengers fan, is that they're a bunch of unsellable characters. But then you're like, holy shit, we're back to basics, they're, they're, they're back. And you want to have reverence for them, so here's the team. And it's like, you're like, yes! But they're like, don't forget, this is the Avengers. So you have to have a couple of, a couple of ringers who suck. That's the opposite of a ringer. An anti-ringer. <laughs> That's like, that, that, well, it makes you think the Avengers are cool because look at these other crappy characters. That right, you, I see. You, you compare yes. them to, like Firestar and Justice. And you're like, get the hell out of here. Who's Justice? Nobody. Uh, those two, both <laughs> Justice. I don't even fit with the rhyme scheme. <laughs> <laughs> both Justice and Firestar are mutants from the New Warriors who oh. graduated to the Avengers. Uh, we need to get some new warriors in here because... To offset it, because yeah. otherwise it'll look like we're just favoring our own people. Uh, yeah. But the, the news is like, hey, uh, yeah, like what the hell? Like, how come the Avengers is like a boys club that's also seemingly only white? Right. Uh, we got Vision? He's, he's red. Like green he's a or red or whatever. Yeah, and they're like, uh-uh. Because he's also based off the brain patterns of Wonder Man, a white guy. Like, mm. what about Wanda? She's like... Eastern European. <laughs> like, that's not close enough. <laughs> so, but they have Justice and Firestar on the team. They're together. They love oh, each yeah? other very much. Oh. That's all you need to know about those two. Okay. Justice and Fire... Star. 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 Yeah. Okay. All right. And it looks like the rest of the team, though, is people I know. Definitely. Okay. Yes. Are these they? Who talks like that? Justice's leg is broken in this book. <laughs> it will remain broken until, like an arc or two from now. Okay, so Firestar is the redhead. Very original. Yeah, I mean, you know. She was invented in Spider-Man and his Amazing Friends. She's a cartoon character that was brought into the comic book world. Oh. She's hot off the heels from Maximum Carnage. Oh. Because the Human Torch was busy, and so she's there. <laughs> but we need someone on fire. We need somebody who can shoot fire. The news is talking, the Avengers are back! And they did a couple of things, like they fought the Grim Reaper, and they fought Pagan, and they joined, oh, they got Justice and Firestar, and they, there's a little bit of a romance in there, but not to be outdone, uh, Vision and Scarlet Witch broke up, and I think Scarlet Witch is fucking Wonder Man, which is kind of fucked up, because Wonder Man's brain patterns oh. are what made Vision, so maybe Scarlet Witch traded up from android to human being. Right, it's even just though the same thing, but a human. Right, even though he's also like ion based, because like he was a human, but he was a human at least in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, he he originally was uh, one. Yes, he at least but knows what it's like to be human. Yes, Vision does not. He does not. Maybe it just got tiring. 
But uh, so they, they, you know, the Avengers are public figures, so they're going to be scrutinized in the news, and that's kind of fun to see. Right. Uh, and so, like that, a soap opera kind of thing. Exactly. But uh, the the Avengers are constantly besieged by nosy reporters who are like giving them the business, mm -hmm. and it's pretty great. Uh, they also talk about them dealing with a a group called the Triune Understanding, and the Triune what? Understanding are virtually meaningless today, but in 1999, they're fucking everywhere. What? And the Triune Understanding is essentially Scientology. It's, huh. a, it's a religious uh. group that exists to poke holes in the Avengers boat, because when the Avengers deal with the Triune Understanding, they're like, the Avengers are a bunch of atheists who are attacking us for religious persecution. Right. <laughs> and I bet that really takes the wind out of their sails. It right. really does. But they're really fighting them because they're like an evil organization. Yes. But they, they do it like so secretly and yeah. carefully that... That it just makes them look bad. Right. Yeah. Okay. And because basically Onslaught killing the Fantastic Four and the Avengers in public set mutant human relations back about a century. Uh, uh, Anti-mutant hysteria is at an all-time high. So they're like, you got a couple of filthy muties on the team. Oh, God. I know. They're like, hey, we got a real problem with you not hiring the right people. But also, you got we, we're going to be openly racist <laughs> about mutants because it's cool to be that way. Whoa, right. whoa, whoa. You got to hire the right people, but like, not those people. Not the wrong people. <laughs> and uh, they just they just added triathlon to the Avengers. Triathlon. What? That's a character. Yeah, a character. he runs. He swims. <laughs> he s yes. Bikes. Bikes. Yeah. He's does what? Does he sprout wheels? No, no. He's just he's he's actually bullshit because <laughs> yeah. There's another character called Three D Man, and Three D Man's powers imprinted onto triathlon, huh. so he's like three times the man. Triathlon. He can, oh. He's three times as strong. He's three times as fast. He's three times as... <laughs> That's what 3D man is? He's not just in 3D? Well, he is in 3D. Because, like, I'm well, 3D man. Yeah, I'm we're 3D all 3D man. Yeah. Except on YouTube. But, like, <laughs> whatever. So triathlon is, like, a basically a modern updating of 3D man. They're in the wings. They're not involved. Ah. But we're just setting up that they're a problem. So <laughs> the Avengers fight the Flaming Sword. Doesn't matter. They're just a group of assholes that the, that the Avengers can fight. Uh, it, they are in hockey masks, I will say. So oh, they're kind of like Casey Jones? A little bit. Only in as much as they're wearing hockey masks. Or Jason Voorhees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, they defeat them, and then the news shows up, and they're like, hey, how come you were like, so terrible about how you did that? Like, they just criticized How come you it. punched them so hard? Well, they sent one of them to like a fucking other dimension until they can come up with what to do with them. Huh. <laughs> and they're like, whoa, that was pretty fucked up. And they're like, what? Uh, last time I checked, I will the flaming you sword has dimensions. rights. Dude, that's, that's Thor. <laughs> Thor's reaction is just like, I'm gonna hit you with my fucking enchanted yeah. hammer. And like, uh, Thor, please, uh, please help us. <laughs> but Ultron's watching, he's like, <laughs> oh, you poor Avengers. Even the people don't care for you, but that's nothing in, for what I have in store for you. Right, you uh, think the news is tearing you a new one? Wait how about until Ultron, Ultron shows up? And It'd be great if he was just manipulating the news. I would love it, but he's not. No, that's just what people are like in the Marvel Universe. He's like, no, <laughs> I'm changing how news companies report yeah. on news so that you always look bad. That's how I'm going to defeat you. Diabolical. Yeah. Then you find out that Ultron, because Ultron gives a speech about how the Avengers are going to be destroyed by him. And then he laughs. And then while he's laughing, you see that he's being watched on another monitor by another <laughs> robot. And you're like, all right. Oh, God. <laughs> but that's pretty great. More robots. More robots. <sighs> Yet another robot. There's at least one more robot. Okay. Wakanda is working in tandem with, like, Stark Fujikawa. Stark Industries is no longer Stark Industries. Mm. Stark Industries is a conglomerate which I think is like a bit of synergy to try and set up fucking 2099, because don't forget 2099 oh, is right. the real future of the Marvel Universe. That's right. That's definitely gonna happen. <laughs> but uh, Stark basically, he, he commits a hostile takeover with his penis, as uh, with Fujikawa herself. And <laughs> uh, we talked about Fujikawa and yeah. her ultimate fate, but you know, anyway. Was that in an X-Men book? No, that was in an Iron Man book. Oh, okay. The one where he fucks his suit. Oh, yeah. No, it's just tries to fuck Iron him. Man. Yeah. 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 The mask and the Iron Get Man. Get back in me. They have a, uh, a base, a plant that only makes Quinjets, and it is destroyed. Oh, or no. Everyone inside of it is killed, oh. and the, the plant is also wrecked. Uh, Black Panther is there. He was supposed to be leaving and going back to Wakanda to be a king, but instead he had to, like, he had to have a meeting. He's really pissed that he had to stay and deal with this. 
but everyone in there is being slaughtered, and Black Panther uh, is faced with a big, scary robot who, whose identity we're trying to obscure for now. Right. And, uh, and, and he's like, oh no! And so Black Panther might be down for the count, who knows? Oh. But Black Panther also yells you, it's like he knows him. Yes. Right. Or her. Oh. <gasps> it's her. Is that Firestar? Uh, she got shit all over her face. <laughs> That's her mask, man. That's I don't know, honestly. I actually looked it up because like when I okay, so in the in the cartoon she's based from, she doesn't have any fucking war paint. Right. And in the comics, when she's in maximum carnage, she wears like a visor. Mm. But you can take that off and she looks like a regular person. Right. But for like a very weird limited amount of time, I wanna say from nineteen ninety nine to two thousand three, she has like flames on her face. <laughs> and I don't know if that's like a secondary mutation, or if she's just painting that on her Is your face. face on fire? Right, like, we get the flame motif. You don't need to paint flames on your face. Uh, excuse me, that's my body. Oh, And it's I'm really so insulting. Sorry. That is my bad. <laughs> you would bad. say that. They're I'm, also upside down flames, which is bizarre. Yeah, they're I, coming down from I, my scalp. It, it's not the best look. No. No. To say the least. But they're moving in, and the Avengers are like, we're gonna have a big press conference about how great we are and how we're back. Uh, and we're gonna have it here on premises, and uh, you know, Justice, you're you're kind of you're kind of crypt up, so I don't think you're gonna hang out with you. <laughs> you go get yeah, ready. Yeah, go. people don't want to like see you hobble around yeah. and crush it. So the 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 but what's great is there's it, there's never a point where it's like the news finally turns around on the Avengers and like right. reports it positively. They're constantly, but the Avengers are dupes, and they constantly have another meeting with the with the press like it's gonna go well and it never does. <laughs> well, I mean they can't like blow the press off, no, right? That's true. So the press is like, hey, well where, where is everybody? Where's the where's the, the Scarlet Witch? And I'm like, I don't know. She said she was busy. Well she is at a restaurant that serves ethnic food that is similar to the food from her native land. And I'm like, Wondagar Mountain? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. anyway she Is uh, that a country she, or a mountain? It's she, she's or a town? It, it's a it's a city. Okay. Wanda is modeled after like gypsy culture, so right. you know, in this restaurant, she's kind of like strong armed into performing a native gypsy dance, oh. which she does, and it's rendered pretty beautifully by George Perez. But she's just like, she's a little apprehensive, but she gets into it, and she's like having a wonderful time. Meanwhile, and then the music takes over. That's right. I just want to dance. That's it. Okay. But Simon Williams is there, and he's like, "Yeah, way to go, Wanda!" And she, that that makes her feel good. And then she notices a dude in the audience is watching her really intently. And it's Vision pretending to be a person who's adopted a like human persona that he wears as a secret identity that he uses when he walks around and like, you know, observes right. human behavior or whatever the hell he's doing. So Vision's there and he's like watching her because he's like sad because they're divorced or whatever you want to call a marriage between a human and a fucking robot. <laughs> Wait, they, were they married? They were married, but like they keep referring to it as they're on the outs, or they're, oh. they don't call they it a separated? divorce. I think they, they would separated. call that off warranty. <laughs> That's what it is. I mean, like, they are no longer together, and they don't get remarried, and people keep referring to each other as exes. Okay. That's your ex-wife, Vision! Right. But yeah, so, but Vision's really sad and broken up about it, and so he, like, observes her dancing, you know, for later. Creepily. Yeah, yeah. creepily. Yeah. <laughs> and that like upsets her. So the Avengers endure another embarrassing volley of questions from the news mm -hmm. before the Wasp smashes through the window behind them. She's like, I'm under attack! And oh. the press goes, if you think we're gonna buy <laughs> this display, right. you got another thing coming. You think we're gonna stop the press conference because yeah. you oh can't my God. handle it. She's bleeding everywhere! Yeah, and Cap's like, clear the room, everybody out. And they're like, yeah, well, you can't silence the press. And Thor's like, I suggest you fuck off. And he they're like, well, yeah, humana, humana, humana. <laughs> he should rainbow road them out of there. Yeah, just war. He doesn't, he, I don't know. Yeah, he can, yeah, he could do that. <laughs> it would be a bumpy road. So uh, Wasp explains that like, so Wasp is like kind of not really on the Avengers. She's like a part-timer. She's, she's moonlighting as an Avenger sometimes, but right now she's rekindling her romance with Hank Pym. Of course, they were married then, you know, uh, getting backhanded across the room <laughs> during a mental breakdown. It's kind of a damping right. on their marriage. Uh, they do <laughs> that will break things down a bit, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but, but Wasp makes an argument for the fact that like he was going through a lot of stress and he had a mental breakdown and blah, blah, blah. He but, would like, do with all that crap right then. Exactly. A bunch of teenagers. But... Don't forget about, uh, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but in any event, they're, they're, they're trying to rekindle their romance. And so they're okay. dating again. And uh, so they're hanging out at some like lab uh, that is 
also peopled with other characters that will eventually be superheroes. Doesn't really matter, but like they're in there. Uh, but anyway, uh, Hank was attacked by robots, and then up, uh, he was taken. Oh. So Wanda came as soon as she could, and rather than go through the door, she just like went through the window. <laughs> just more dramatic that way. There's no time! <laughs> That's fucking amazing. I thought she was being chased by somebody. No. She just, yeah. she just she didn't have time to use the door. That's right. That's what she says. I guarantee wow. you Tony sent her a text. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, this is going bad. Conference going south. Make a grand entrance. Yeah. So the Avengers, they rally together, and before they go to Hank's crime scene, they go to the Quinjet attack. Okay. And when they get there, they discover that Black Panther is being held at the mercy of Alkima. Who? Alkima is the second attempt at a bride for Ultron. The first one was Jocasta. <sighs> sorry, what? So Jocasta was the first attempt at making a female counterpart for Ultron, but she betrayed Ultron and became a good guy in Avenger for a little while. And then they made Alkima. And Alkima did not become a good guy, but she did betray Ultron. And she's just another evil female Ultron. Hank, please stop. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't need a bride. He, he needs, needs a to reboot. Die. He needs like a hardware refresh. Exactly. Uh, now, then you get into the whole brainwave thing. Ultron is based on the brainwaves of Hank Pym, which is actually revealed in this book. Originally, it was really? AI. Yeah. Yeah, that's a retcon. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's, okay. It's actually kind of a fun reveal, but I, I ruined it, but we'll get into it later. But, uh, Ultron, <laughs> I mean, we already knew about it. We so. knew it already. Yeah. yeah. But Ultron is Hank Pym. Jocasta is Wasp, Janet Van Dyne. Right. But Alkima is Bobby Morse, Mockingbird, who is now dead, and also was the wife of Hawkeye. Why would you make her into a robot? Well, it is, it is under duress. You know, by then it was not a, a voluntary de decision. But anyway, Alkima is an evil Ultron that is based off of Mockingbird's brainwaves. All that matters <sighs> is that that was the thing. Uh, it never comes up because Hawkeye's not on the Avengers, or at least not here today, so it doesn't come up. Okay. And Bobby's dead. So right. she swats so the Avengers away like they're nothing. And they're the like, place is also rubble. Yeah, no, she killed everybody. And she explains that, uh, you know, I would never work with Ultron. Ultron's a piece of shit. You know, he wants to destroy humanity in one fell swoop. Whereas I want a more personal touch. I want to destroy humanity one at a time. I, I, she's more sadistic. I see. She's like, it's, like, it's got to be drawn out yeah, and painful. More laborious and more, more personal. Right. Uh, that's why I'm just holding Black Panther hostage. Well, that's why she found out that Ultron's planning on taking over the Earth, so I'm going to rob him of it by doing it my way. Uh-huh. Like, I'm going to rob... Yeah. I'm doing it my way. <sighs> but she's going to rob Ultron of his victory by destroying the Avengers first. So she destroyed their Quinjet. Now they can't fly anywhere, except they easily can, and they do. They have uh, other Quinjets. You destroyed the factory. That yes, was it. Yes, but We can't also, have more. Well, they lost their Quinjet in another more. story earlier, so, like... But they still have one. It doesn't matter. They actually have multiple Quinjets because Justice takes one earlier. So, uh, but they, they fight out. Yeah, but eventually I'll destroy them all. And when I've destroyed the factory, then you won't have any more. If, yes, if exactly. I'm allowed to keep destroying them with impunity. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's my plan. It's a good plan. Because you like Quinjets so much. Well, you need them. Yeah. You, know, you want to get anywhere. I mean, yeah, I can't fly Half commercial. the team can fly anyway without <laughs> anything. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> so they. Everyone hold on to my cape. <laughs> Swing. Yeah. There goes Mjolnir. There's no way that cape is gonna hold. <laughs> no, but Iron, Iron, Iron Man could carry somebody though. Yeah, he can carry Cap. Yeah, he can carry Cap. I'm sure Cap would love it. <laughs> but uh, so the Avengers engage Alkima. Uh, you have to also observe the fact that Captain America is not wielding his classic shield. Oh. Instead, he's wielding an energy shield. Oh. That was gifted to him by Sharon Carter doing another adventure from the Wade Garney era, pre Heroes Reborn. Oh. So we got that back. Well, so he got a new one. He if Alkima's yeah. here, yeah. who kidnapped Hank? Well, well Ultron. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Yeah. That was a different robot attack. So Captain America fights Alkima. But uh, a cool aspect of Captain America's energy shield is, uh, since it's an upgraded version, this shield can be turned into a, like, polearm that Cap oh. uses to, like, stab and thwack. Oh, so uh, can now it can also be turned into a sword? Range. He never uses it as one. How about a gun? Nope, he uses it as a staff or a shield. 
Okay. This is one of those things where it's like, oh man, classic Avengers, uh, except for Captain America's energy shield. That's not that's not <laughs> that's classic. not classic. Also, at all. Justice and Firestar are here, who are not classic, are not and classic. you're not going to care about them. But uh, definitely still classic Avengers. <laughs> you know. Yeah, just with all these caveats. With all this random shit in it. Yeah. And bizarre Alkima. Yeah. Oh well, Alkima's a a classic. Roy Thomas invention, so you know she, at least she's there. We're doing, we're paying an homage. I mean, we're doing a classic Ultron Avengers story. Wait, so we haven't, we've seen Alkima. Yes, before. Before. Well, Alkima has happened. Yeah, this, oh, is yeah. not her this is not her debut. introduction. It's yeah. our debut yeah. on the show that Alkima has happened. They knew Alkima. Okay. Well, I was not aware of so that. This is familiar I thought this and was like to another Avengers robot. Thing. Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, also, Wanda's powers have. It doubled since our last encounter count. Uh, <laughs> so now she's like wielding. Wait, did you count them? I don't understand. How, how did you measure? Yeah, how do you that? measure that? Well, the same way I measure midi chlorines, I would major. Oh, I see. Oh, it's bullshit. Cool. But you know, twice the pride, double the fall. <laughs> so uh, Wanda fights Alkima using her newly established chaos magic. Originally, it was hex magic, and she's oh. using hex magic, but it's, it's much more chaotic now. This, is this where chaos magic is introduced? No, it's been introduced already, oh, okay. but like during that run. Does I she see. not have time to change, or is this her costume? This is, this is her costume. Oh. It, it's it's more like a like a gypsy dancer kind of costume. Right. But yes. Uh, it, okay. Wanda goes through a lot of costume incarnations, but this is the one you'll see during the Perez uh, music run. Gotcha. With a lot of vibranium shrapnel around, I probably would have chosen something a little more protective. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, yeah, I think so. But she can. Well, she can she cast can a, a magic shield or whatever. Exactly. She doesn't need. She's got an invisible shield. Vibranium. No, but she uses her magic to basically fuck up Alkima. Like nothing's working, but right. Wanda's magic does because. Uh, and Alkima actually it's makes fucking a point of magic. Saying, well, she's like, I have a shield against your magic. She's like, yeah, but I've got extra magic. I got magic you've never even planned. <laughs> yeah, for. but I've got a shield defeating magic. And it's that a lot of that happens where it's like, you will I I I'll say I have my power that would easily defeat you. Oh no, but my power actually, actually I have a shield that defends against that power. Oh yeah, but I have a shield piercing element of that power that you didn't know about. Oh. <laughs> okay, playground. Cartman. Just yeah. playground rules. Yeah. Jeez. So she like fucks up Alkima and basically goes like, you said something about Ultron. You said something that he's got a plan. Tell us about it. She's like, I'll tell you nothing. And she like shakes her a lot. She's like, turn on CNN. That's her like olive branch to the Avengers. Like stop beating me up. Turn on CNN. Right. Because you'll see. Yes. And you'll, you'll see, see what's going on. So in the Marvel Universe, we have a lot of Eastern European countries that don't exist in the real world. So it is with Slorenia. <laughs> Slorenia is another Eastern European oh. country, not unlike Sincaria or Latveria. Yeah. But Slorenia, Slorenia. But Slorenia did exist. At least they didn't invent it for the story. Slorenia? Yes. Oh, you mean in Marvel existed. In Marvel. Yeah. yeah, it's not a new Eastern European country no. in Marvel. Okay. They didn't introduce it in this book. Right. But Slorenia has been destroyed. Like the whole country? Every man, woman, child, bird, and animal oh. has been slaughtered by Ultron. Slorenia is no more. So the, uh, what about the bacteria? Are they still alive? <laughs> yeah, the bacteria is still there. I mean, but but the plan is Ultron is... But they're scared. <laughs> they're running scared. Well, uh, how... I'm sorry. How was the entire country destroyed well, and the Avengers didn't hear about it until fighting, it had already they happened? They were fighting Altima. Yeah. It, it happened in like the, the, like the 10 minutes or whatever that that fight took? Yeah. Oh. Ultron's yeah. very thorough. It's a brutal robotic efficiency. Okay. So Ultron slaughtered everybody. He destroyed, and at first he destroyed their like, their 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 air force. Then he destroyed their, their water force. Then he destroyed every man. <laughs> the woman. Navy? Yeah. <laughs> Basically it's like Ultron did take a few ideas from Alkima. He's like, I did end up like making it personal and slaughtering a lot of people. Right. And he killed everybody. And there's a moment where he's like cackling and we're watching it on CNN. And he's like, what's this? A cameraman. How utterly human. And kills the cameraman. Oh. And the Avengers is like, fuck. This they is don't, CNN. They don't want to deal with fucking Ultron. Right. Like he is the well, This worst. is really tough. Yeah, he's so tough. They'd what? rather deal with Alkima than Ultron. I mean, they where, did. Where did Ultron come from? And why didn't he do this at any prior point? Right. Like, if he could do this... If he could do this at any point, why do you choose now? Like, why now? Well, because yeah. he keeps getting defeated. Usually he was thinking small. And actually, Justice will be sent on a base-guarding research <laughs> mission <laughs> in which he will show us Ultron's greatest hits and remind you of the, the, the diminishing returns of Ultron stories until mm. now. 
Like Ultron had been a force to be reckoned with, but then ultimately became something of a joke. Right. You know, or at the very least he was nerfed. Maybe <laughs> don't put that in your book if you're trying to sell me on Ultron. Well, because no, like, no, that's like this issue is, two. This is where where he's back, what though. a badass he is. Like yeah. now Ultron is triple A tier villain status. Right. And I'm We st- know, we we know that yeah. he's been getting pretty lame lately. But because we know about it. Yes, and we put a hat now on Now you it. can believe that he's gonna be awesome now. Yeah. That's right, right here. That's right. Get ready. Hold and on I, to your hold on to your butts. Yeah. But I believe this is also the impetus behind the Joss Whedon mm. Age of Ultron story. Okay. I mean, like, Ultron takes over a small Eastern right. European country. Right. And from there, he's going to build, like, his new world order. Right. You okay. Know? I think there was a discussion, actually, about Ultron killing everyone in Sokovia, but they were like, that's a little too brutal. So the Avengers all go to, like, the U.S. government's Pentagon situation room, mm-hmm. which is also, like, really fun drawing where it's, like, overhead. Is this Ultron, is it just... It's just Ultron walking around shooting lasers, or he has like an army of He's got Ultrons. an army of Ultrons. Okay, so maybe yeah. that's why. It's not just one. It is not just robot. one. And well, that, and that's kind of like a reveal, but like uh. Ultron uses like superior firepower from the sky. You don't really even see how Ultron does it. You see lasers blasting everything. Yeah. You watch Slorania just like Slur- try, and they throw like different characters at the problem. Mm. You know, like Black Brigade, who's an actual like Iron Man villain that came up in another story. Oh. I actually kind of thought that was cool. They're like, yeah, no. Like, Slorania yeah. has these characters at their disposal. And even the villains will try and defend their country from death. Right. Yeah, and it doesn't work out, and they die. But like, yeah, Ultron has superior firepower. He has like a... He has a cool action playset that like Cobra <laughs> Commander would use that you know, shoots lasers and stuff. But it's also, like a death satellite. <laughs> yes, but he also has uh, other Ultrons that he's going to use. Right. But but uh, we haven't seen that yet. No, we have not seen that yet. But yeah, we watch how uh, Slorenia is just annihilated, and Firestar is like, "That's pretty fucked up and scary right there." Uh, meanwhile, we also went to the Pentagon because they're dropping off Alkima. Like she's under arrest, you know. Like we've defeated right. her, and they're gonna put her in like a special adamantium uh, chamber that's gonna hold <sighs> her in stasis. Why don't they yeah, just she agreed destroy to be taken her? In. They can. not She's a robot. She doesn't have rights. Yeah, but that's like saying like, why don't we just destroy the Vision? Which they well, do because he's not evil. Yeah. He's not evil. He's an Avenger. Yeah, he probably would defend her, but I'm saying, well, it's okay. One against uh, six billion right. humans against the one robot. Uh, the six billion have it. Yeah. Motion carries. Right. Killer. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe because it's modeled after a human brain pattern, so that it's technically alive. Oh. They don't. They don't address why they don't just rip her fucking head off. <laughs> I mean, she knows what Ultron is doing. <laughs> yes. And yeah, maybe, maybe they, they, they want to use her, her against don't him. Question her. <laughs> they, she told them to turn on CNN. That was as much as they were going to get out of her. Like, huh. wait, how did you know? Right. How did you know to tell me to turn on CNN? Because well, I was following his plans. Like, she knew. Yeah, that maybe we need to interrogate right, you. Like, like, very obviously. Yeah, but yeah, also, maybe like, you know if stuff. you knew his plan, and you knew that it was going to be reported on CNN, then, and your plan, your plan was to disrupt his plans, then why did you let him get away with that plan? Yeah. It sounds like you already lost. Yeah. Like, what was your plan going to be? Well, except it's How would it have worked? Except also her plan is seemingly to be captured and brought to the Pentagon. Uh, so, like, I but guess But what do the Avengers think her plan is? They thought her plan was to disrupt them, and they don't think about the fact that she knew what her, what his actual plan was. Right. So yeah. they don't question anything. So they deserve to be whatever yep, hazards. Whatever pantsing they get. Yeah. She's under lock and key. A couple of people remark on, like, how she hasn't said anything. She hasn't answered any questions. But she is emitting a low-frequency hum. Oh, yeah, she's in power-saving mode. Right. Uh, she's actually <laughs> like sending blue an ultrasonic hum that is attracting her hordes of robots. Uh, they don't know that. Right. Oh, she has hordes of robots too? She does. <sighs> oh, but boy. they're not Ultrons. This, this is going to be tough. All mm-hmm. these robots. Yep. So, uh, you know, they, they, they question the scientist who was working with, with Pym, and that was uh, Dr. Nugent. Dr. Dr. Alice Nugent. Dr. Ted Nugent. Oh. <laughs> Alice Nugent. Uh, who will eventually become uh, Dr. Spectrum. But she's there. And she ended up like, she was a like high ranking scientist, but pretended to be lower ranking so she could work with Han- with, with Hank Pym. <laughs> what? It's a bunch of bullshit. Like why bring that, that up? That doesn't make any sense. But, okay. But she's so dreamy. Yeah, but she works huh. with, with Pym and she watched Pym get like taken away by Ultron or at least by Ultron robots. Ah, okay. And so they scan the lab and they like, they're looking for him and they can't find him and you know, like, what does Ultron want with Hank with Pym? Him, yeah, his yeah. Creator. Well, and, and something Wanda, fucked up. Yeah, and and, and uh, Wasp is like really beside herself. Like she's so dedicated 
to like redeeming this relationship. And <laughs> poor Hank, and he had, and she proceeds to give us like a flashback about like all the breakdowns he's had. And I'm like, this is the last thing he needs, and it's the last thing our relationship could use. But uh, you know, all that. But uh, Hank was working on like a. Uh, some kind of communication device with ants and like, you know, some kind of hive mind thing. And, yeah, big surprise. Yeah, but like that's why, seemingly that's why Ultron kidnapped him because... And, <laughs> because Ultron, of the ant-based technology? Yeah, well, basically, Ultron wants to rule the world and he wants to kill organic life and he wants to people it with little Ultrons, but he also wants uh. them to have like brain patterns that are based off of humans so they have their own sentience, but he also wants to be able to control them because he's an asshole. Hence so he figures the, the hive mind the research. Hive mind research. Uh, like, that's why he steals Pim. Ants. Ants have the secret. I, I think you it's know, more you can like, study uh, ants yourself. You don't need Hank Pym. Ants are just everywhere. You no. just look at them and watch them. And you're yeah. a robot. You should be able to gather Well, and you're based off Pym, so you can probably them. come up with the same ideas. Yeah. So... Now, every time I do, it always ends up bad. They make me their queen for some reason. I'm like, no, I'm a dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, while, they're, while they're reminiscing, they were attacked by like every Ultron. Oh. And what's fun about it is that it's also like a, like a, like a, uh, <laughs> a who's who of Ultron. That's right. So it's like all, it's the greatest hits of Ultron. Uh, it's every version of Ultron like that ever pre existed. Prior Ultron. Yeah, Ultrons. except Ultron 8. Where's yeah. Ultron 8? Well, he's only from <laughs> the old man Logan universe, right. but also. There, he should predate like Ultron 13 and characters like that. Well, but anyway, uh, he's off being a good dad. That's right, <laughs> the best father you'll ever see. But uh, even Ultron One, like who was a big complicated robot, was like, "It's me, I'm Ultron One. Fuck you, <laughs> mom." <laughs> oh god. Zaps Wasp. So they're dealing with all of those Ultron hordes. Yeah. And they are concerned that because most of the Ultrons are made of adamantium, that these Ultrons might also be made of adamantium. Which means that they'll be like impossible to fight. Right. So they're not the same they are robots. Not the same they're, Ultrons. They're, they're replicas. They are replicas of the old Ultron. That's fucking weird. Some of those Ultrons okay. were destroyed. So right. yeah, it's not like that they're they, he he pulled them out of storage. <laughs> now we're, we're bringing back Ultron's greatest hits. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's like, so the Avengers like, what? We destroyed these Ultrons. He's like, ah, I, I, yeah, I, they have been remade. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but not better, faster, or stronger. Just remade. Just, yeah. 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 Possibly actually, worse. And, and actually cheaper because I don't have as much. Adamantium, mm. but uh, they they defeat uh, Wonder Man because he wants Wonder Man also. He wants to mm. capture him, uh, and a few other members of the Avengers, including everyone who is in attendance. So like Vision, Scarlet Witch, Wasp, Wonder Man, okay. he wants them all. And so he sends all the the Ultrons, and they all basically beat the shit out of uh, everybody and take them. Okay. Yeah. He also really wanted Firestar and Justice, but no, uh, they weren't didn't. there. <laughs> yeah. So the Avengers are like. S dispatched along with uh, a whole host of UN forces because like now it's an international incident. Sure. So like the Avengers are like the front lines with a UN coalition of soldiers who are sent to this Eastern European nation to, to like live Fight it. Ultron, yeah. Uh, not Slorenia, right? Yeah, Slorenia. Yeah, Slorenia. Yeah. Everyone's dead. Yeah, but like... Who well, are they Who are they rescuing? They're avenging them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're taking the land back. Uh, they're really living up to their name. Exactly. So yeah. Firestar joins up with the Avengers, but Justice uh, goes with Jarvis back to the compound to uh, to research Ultron. They're like, look him up and see what you can find. Okay. Meanwhile, beneath... See what you can find? Yeah, like, yeah. learn something about Ultron. He does. Like a wiki page? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but yeah. before, it's, it's 99. I mean, Wait we fought him like every time. Don't we already know everything about him? Yeah. Don't we have access Aren't to Pym's files? Are we the experts yeah. on Ultron? Yeah, Who but we gonna has ask? files on new Ultrons. Look, we're just going to look... Look it up. I'm just gonna look for all mentions of Ultron in the historical record. Exactly. Yeah. I'm also gonna hack him. Yeah. He does not, <laughs> thankfully. I'm in. <laughs> so Ultron, beneath the, rub the rubble of this former country, has built a new facility, and he's captured all his characters, including yep. Grim Reaper. Oh, why Grim Reaper? Yeah. And he's like, you guys are gonna be the seeds of my new world. And they're like, seeds? I what does that mean? That. Yeah. Hey, so. you're gonna, I'm gonna make you robots. I'm you not just... gonna bang you, Ultron, no matter how much you beg me or wine and dine me. Okay. Okay, I wasn't going to. <laughs> no, stop! <laughs> I like smooth jazz. That's good to know. But why? <laughs> well, you said you needed my seed. I'm not gonna fuck you. <laughs> I mean, I'll take a hand job. What? <laughs> what? I'm gonna take your brain waves. Yeah, yeah. I'm oh! A, I'm a oh. robot. Yeah. When I say I'm seed, sorry, I, that means a different fucking thing. I, I, I had that very different, I'm sorry. Exactly. So uh, the UN forces go into Slorenia, but they are met by resistance. Not Ultron drones. What? 
Ultron outfitted every dead man and woman with cyborg technology and sent the reanimated robot corpses of every member of Slurmia's <laughs> population oh my God. to fight the UN. I mean, that's Ooh. diabolical. It is horrific. It's another cyborg book. Yeah. You know what would be great <laughs> is if like, yeah, it was your own zombies. family members. Mm, right. Like that would be horrific. I mean, they, yeah, they're just- They're they, neighbors. They're everyone. Yeah, that's just the populace, populace yeah. of the country. Right? That's all. That's a lot of robot zombies. It is a lot. Of, it's, it's a lot. It's an entire country. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the Avengers also uh, asked T'Challa to join. Not oh. that like they asked him to join the Avengers. He's technically a, a member, but they're like, "Hey, don't go to Wakanda just yet. Like, come with us." And he's like, "Okay." I mean, like, we that's... did save you from Alkima. Yeah. Apparently, you needed that. <laughs> yeah. Big bad, powerful Black Panther. He's, he's, he's saved by from Alkima, a third-rate Ultron. But yeah, uh, I also like this version of uh, Black Panther. Every version of the Avengers that you see in here is also in JLA Avengers. It's kind of fun. Like, yeah. oh, except for the shield, which is back to being the classic shield. Right, thank God. But uh, Yeah, I do not like that. It's rare to see Black Panther nowadays in the like popped collar and cape yeah. uh, with gold accents. But I kind of like Looks it. cool, And yeah. I only really like it when George Perez draws it. Mm. So the Avengers basically like, like Dracula. They run the front lines and they try their damnedest. Uh, Black Panther and uh, Firestar separate to go do their own thing to look look for their fallen or missing comrades. Okay. Uh, and meanwhile, uh, Ultron monologues the details of his nefarious scheme. Uh, right. That scheme is: yes, I'm going to copy your brainwaves, and I'm going to make like basically. I'm always been I've always been obsessed with family, and ultimately, at the end of the day, that's what this book. Is. <laughs> oh man, he should he should watch the Fast <laughs> and you. Furious franchise. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's like you know I, I made Vision. I'm, they, they made Jocasta and yeah. Alkima. Like I'm, I am um, a family man at heart, and I would like to have people that I can connect with or have some relationship to. And all of you are basically the templates for that family I've had. You right. know? Maybe in the future, baby robot boy, <laughs> baby robot girl. Yeah. Wonder Man, your brainwaves made Vision, so you guys are connected, and you're like, because Vision's my son, right? And Wonder Man made Vision's brain, so that's that. Wanda, you fuck Vision, so you're like related to me in some way. Uh. Hank, Hank, you're my brain. We didn't say that yet, yeah. but like you're my dad, more, more or less. So you're connected. Wasp, you fuck Hank, so you're like my mom. And Grim Reaper, you're related to Wonder Man, so you're like my uncle or whatever. Wait, if that's <laughs> true, and Wanda's like his mom, then wasn't him no. trying to be with no. Jocasta? No, Wasp is like his mom. Yeah. yeah wasp I'm sorry, did I say Wanda? You did. I apologize. If Wasp is like his mom, yeah. then wasn't him trying to be with Jocasta very creepy and incestuous? Yes. Ew. You are just going to make us robots, though. We're not going to be creepy cyborgs no, like your army. No, no. He's like, your bodies may die, but your minds will live on in some fashion in my new, like, robot society. Right. But only how I want them to because I have that hive mind shit. That's what, yes. So... You said there was the reveal in this book that his brainwaves yes. are Wonder Man's That's later. brainwaves. Who does he think his brainwaves are? He thinks they're Hank Pym's Every, brainwaves? Well, I think Ultron knows that they're Hank's brainwaves. Oh. Who does the audience think the his audience brainwaves The audience thinks his brainwaves from? came from nothing, that oh. it was an AI that Hank invented. I see, because okay. Because Hank keeps like having these meltdowns whenever you see him, because he's like a cameo in this book, where he's like, oh my God, it's all my fault. And, and, and Wasp constantly, Janet's like, no, you invented AI. You were curious. You're a scientist. That doesn't mean that that's your fault. And, it's, and then later he'll be like, no, it's because I needed a template and I modeled it. Basically, everything that Ultron does is something that I would do if I lacked humanity. So it's like I'm doing it myself. And Wasp goes, holy shit. <laughs> that is so fucked up. Like, no you didn't create AI, you just copied your own brain. Yeah, like, no wonder you're so, like, messed up. <laughs> oh my god. No wonder god. he's an asshole. Ultron's right. just backhanding the world all the time. Yeah. <laughs> it all makes sense. Yeah. Uh, and, and Vision was constructed by Hank Ultron. Ultron. Oh, never mind, sorry. So Vision is like Ultron's son. son. Yeah. So Wonder Man... Is, well, Wonder Man is like the the friggin' surrogate, like or surrogate, yeah, yeah, or sperm donor, yes, <laughs> or something. Yeah, and it's just you're related. <laughs> he, he he the metaphor breaks down. Yeah, he okay. does, and he he more or less admits it. He's just like you know you're you're related in some way. Yeah, but uh, so 
Black Panther and Firestar think they've located Ultron. He's like, goes topside. He's like, yeah, I got lots of me's everywhere. Now I'm going to make my cool augmentation that you can uh, buy on sale now from Toy Biz. Yep. And mm -hmm. uh, so Firestar lights the signal flare, which lures. Uh, Firestar is the signal flare. She is, but she could fire like flame in the air. But uh, that's like, hey, Thor and, and, and company, come down here and kick the shit out of Ultron. Right. Meanwhile, the Pentagon, uh, Alkima's terrible looking robot drones <laughs> were way less cool oh than Ultron show up. <laughs> they she they look like they're from like 40, 50 years earlier yeah. than the Ultron robots. Yeah, they look like drones from a half-baked Decepticon team. They look like awesome. bizarre robots from Babylon 5. No, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, Battlestar, Battlestar Galactica. Battlestar Galactica. Galactica. Yeah. That's there exactly what so, uh, <laughs> so they show up to try and free Alkima. Okay. Um, and with no superheroes there to defend them, uh, that's what they They do. will, yeah. Yeah. It's the Pentagon! Yeah, but They it's have, just... like, soldiers defending Yeah, but, yeah, but they're just four. regular human soldiers. Yeah. yeah and, you need super uh, soldiers. When they're fighting all of the Ultrons, you know, like, they talk about how maybe not all of them are made of, ult of adamantium and maybe some of them might be weaker. And they're like, if Thor keeps fighting at full fucking capacity with no breaks, he may be able to cut a swath through to get us through. And Thor's like, yay, verily, but nay. Like, I won't be able to do that. <laughs> There's too many just too for Thor. Many. Yeah. So, I'm going to need a breather. So while just while that's going on, Justice is doing his research project on Ultron. And in it, he, like, learns a lot about Ultron. -y, and he goes through a couple of, like, retconning. Like, there's a Daredevil story where Daredevil beats Ultron. <laughs> right, that was a Doom bot. I mean, an Ultron bot. Right. I mean... Uh, <laughs> and, and fucking Justice goes, Daredevil? How did he beat Ultron? <laughs> like, he's the audience who complained yeah. about Daredevil beating Ultron. Right. Uh, because he shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, you know, like, Ultron worked with Doctor Doom, but why would either of them do that? <laughs> Meanwhile, like, there's other stuff. Oh, well, story. that was a Doom bot and an uh, Ultron derivative. Right. And, yeah. like, you know, all these oh other God. Ultron stories. And then he's like, hold on a minute. There's another story in here, and he's like gravitating towards a story that we almost did on this show, oh. which we threatened to do from that Spider-Man Round Robin Essential Collection, in which Ultron oh, no. teams up with Kingpin and fights Spider-Man, <laughs> Iron Man, and Black Panther. And I was like, what? You remembered that? You're doing that? And it's like... Oh, well, I thought I was the only one. Like, Ultron was dealing with uh, trying to get synthetic vibranium from the Roxxon Corporation at Empire State University. I'm like, oh, I know that one too. That's and Justice like... I've got it right here. Yeah, and Justice like, what? What a weird story that is. <laughs> Why would it anyone write, infiltrate. read, or do that on a show? Yeah. Yeah. But also, uh, Justice is sad because he was reminded of vibranium and uh, the, the doomsday man who used vibranium or whatever broke his leg. And so he's like really sad about being benched anyway. And it, oh, vibranium. Oh, oh, now I'm sad. That's it. That's what happens. What? <laughs> so, Anytime anyone mentions vibranium, my old wound hurts. Yeah, just yeah. like, you know, victims of gunshots. Like, oh, whatever anyone says, lead. Or, I'm like, oh, no, you, not lead. You mentioned lead Reminds paint. Me old, and it just gives injury. me flashbacks. Yeah. So, uh, so then the scout leader led us into the woods. Ah! So then the uh, the Avengers, they fight Ultron, the Ultron that they were signaled to. And he's like, you can't beat me. And, uh, you know, they try and then they do. I'm certainly not a distraction. So they yeah, destroy him. And they're like, whew, that took everything out of us. And then another Ultron shows up. And they're like, ah, oh, fuck. Oh, no. That Ultron leads all the other Ultrons to fight the Avengers. And they're, like, basically cornered. They're, at, like, surrounded. At oh. what point do they form, like, a giant Ultron made out of Ultrons? <laughs> Ultron 7 is already a giant Ultron who steps on Wonder Man earlier in the story. But he's just a giant Ultron. I want them I know, to I want form. A, like, yeah. a, like, Mecha Ultron. Or, like, Ultron who is made up of, like, many thousands of Ultrons. Yeah, right. like a million ants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, like, like the end of Wreck-It Ralph 2. Is this a normal Ultron move, or is this where it's like invented, like a Ultron horde? This is the Ultron horde, I think, is uh, pretty much where you see it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like, again, it's the Avengers fighting thousands of Ultron robots in a Eastern European country. Yeah. That's yeah. Ultron. That's, that's, that's Age, Age of Ultron. Ultron, yeah. But, uh, Interesting. Yeah. So Jarvis is awoken by a, uh, oh. a an alarm. The, 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 
Alkima situation, and the alarm would go to Jarvis only if there were no Avengers in the mansion. <laughs> right. And so Jar Jarvis is like, it whoa! Should go to Jarvis anyway! He's just he's at the, the end butler. of the calling he tree. Is, he's whoa, where the fuck is Justice? Justice left in a Quinjet. Where, he's got a broken leg, where's he going? Yeah. Yeah, he's on bed rest. He didn't even drink the tea I made him. Oh, is he gonna save the day? Yeah. Oh. I know. But like with info? We gotta make justice yeah. happen. Well, like research <laughs> saved the day. Education is, is, is power. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Dun, 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 dun. Ultron ends up like downloading everyone's minds. Oh. All in captive, like he manages to get everybody's minds. Turns okay. out that everything don't take up a whole lot of memory. <laughs> So he's downloading those. The Avengers are just smashing their way through all of these Ultron robots, and, and and you know just just becoming exhausted and wrecked. Yeah. And just, just you know every wrecked time they robots. think they've made some kind of advancement, Progress. Yeah. They're, more, they're thrown back. Yeah. Just, it, it's overwhelming, and it's really fun to see because just George Perez like just drawing his heart out, giving yeah, just all the shit fucking out of it. Ultrons and yeah. every and it's like a greatest hits album of Ultron. So it's like you get your favorite Ultron in there and. You know, it's it's desperate, and the Avengers, you know, they they're, they just got back, and they're already fighting for their lives, and you know, they're shouldn't be this hard. Look at Cap's costume; it's practically torn apart. Yes, yeah, so is Thor's. It's awesome. So while that's happening, uh, you know, Ultron wraps up downloading the mind of Grim Reaper, and Grim Reaper is just like down for the count for some reason. He's just like so wiped out from this situation. <laughs> well, he's not and a good guy. While it's happening, <laughs> uh, Vision points out the fact that uh, you know. Vision was put into a stasis thing, and Ultron's like, "I know your tech, so I could keep you from phasing in and out and shifting mm. and getting and getting free from your bondage." And Vision's like, "Yes, but you didn't count on Wi-Fi because it's 1999. He doesn't <laughs> say Wi-Fi, but he's like, I, I I wirelessly interfaced with your systems, and you didn't count on that. And in how today's parlance, it's Wi-Fi. Right. But yes, he ends up doing that, and that's oh how Vision God. is able to then free himself. And then he goes and he and he's like, "Okay, Ultron." Uh, I'm free, and Ultron's like, oh, great. So I guess it's the part where we fight each other now, and Vision goes, not necessarily, I want to talk to you. And so Vision basically is like, <laughs> so being cucked by my brain sake uh, made me think a lot about like what it means to be human and feeling like alone. And it turns out like being dumped sucks, and I'm sad. I'm, 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 I'm sad. And so if I'm sad- I'm I a robot. I can't even imagine how you feel. You, you, because. I at least got to fuck one. <laughs> like, they made two chicks for you, and you didn't fuck either of them. <laughs> you must have blue balls of steel. <laughs> steel, 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 steel. I'm gonna extend a hand, and I will, uh, whatever you're going through, we'll get through it together. It's two fucking robots. Like, I guess he's offering to do a reach around for Ultron. <laughs> Ultron's like, wow, I murdered like millions of people today, and you're still willing to help me? And Vision's like, maybe. Uh, we'll see. Do you trust me? Yeah, and Ultron's like, no, blast. He lures yeah. him, he's like, me? Ah, you idiot, ah, ha, ha. Why would I ever do that? That's fucking stupid. It's so stupid, it's so lame. You're so stupid, Vision. It'd be great if Vision did that to him. Yeah. yeah like I, the Bam Bam. I thought, bam. Like I he, it was tricky. shakes him. his hand and just, dish, 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 dish. Fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so like, what, oh, what about your promise of like peace yeah. and hope and love? Ah, fuck you, you fucking piece well, of shit. It's not too far off because- <laughs> Fuck you, you lame virgin. <laughs> <laughs> well, because Ultron's like, why would you fall for that? Like, I can't believe it. And Vision's like, so that they would get freed. Oh. Ultron's like, what? And Green Reaper's like, I played possum. I'm not really nearly as wiped out from that experience. Ha ha. Oh. And so he frees the rest of them. And so now it's a free for all. Okay. And Ultron's like, never mind that. I'll kill you anyway. And while he is about to kill them, the wall erupts and a classic Avengers moment <laughs> is revealed. The Avengers are revealed, Thor front and center, and Thor simply says, Ultron, we would have words with thee. <laughs> That's cool. Bring it on. Classic Avengers moment, it's sorely missed in Age of Ultron. Mm. So yeah. now the Avengers are joined and they fight Ultron and seemingly the last of the Ultron. Right, the one that's like super tough because they tore through hundreds of them. Yes. But now, now even more Avengers are going to struggle to defeat one. Indeed. Yeah. This is, and this is the adamantium. That's why one. it's Ultron. Right. right. It, it's it's Ultron Prime. Yeah. And so he basically makes mincemeat of the Avengers. Like it's oh. cool and it's epic. There's like a four-page fight. Right. Of everyone throwing everything they got and. Then Justice arrives, and he uses his mutant power telekinesis, and he goes, Hey, 
I read that terrible, boring Spider-Man comic book about the Antarctic Vibranium, and I realized that, like, Antarctic Vibranium, and of course we talked about this off camera, actually, when I was yeah. prepping these guys for that book we'll never do, <laughs> but Antarctic Vibranium is different from regular Vibranium. So different regions of the world that have the rock of Vibranium as an asteroid that lands there, it interacts with different properties, and so it becomes a different version of Vibranium that does different stuff. And Antarctic Vibranium, if it's near metal, will cause metal to deteriorate. Yep. Right. So, Justice read that comic book in which that is the plot point. So he goes and he procures Antarctic Vibranium. Oh. And he tosses it to Giant Man, who gets big, takes those two huge tubes of it, and uses his fist and just punches the shit out of Ultron, oh. wielding the Antarctic Vibranium, which is causing Ultron to fall apart. Ah, okay. So he's like, how does it feel, you motherfucker? I'm gonna fucking kill you, you piece of shit. And Pym goes through like a catharsis because the whole book, he's like, it's me, it's my brain. Ah, he's like, fuck Ultron, it's not me, it's you. You took my brain and made it bad, but I'm cool. I'm not a bad guy. Watch me beat the shit out of you. And Wasp was like, oh, oh that shit. looks familiar. Some flashbacks. Yeah, <laughs> the beast is coming out. Yeah, so he just, he tears maybe, Ultron apart. Maybe I can't save our marriage. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> he beats Ultron to death, and then Wasp is like, that's enough. That's enough. And he's like, okay. And Firestar goes to Dust. He's like, she was amazing. And he's like, hey, not so bad for a dude with a bum leg, huh? I guess I am an Avenger after all. And uh, everybody hugs, and then they all go home. And, uh, you know, they, they offer to help, and I think they do. But they're, everyone's exhausted and right. half capacity. But, like, they got to fucking rebuild this whole goddamn country of corpses. No, Slorania is done. Yeah, Slorania's yeah. over. It's, it's a graveyard until the end of time. Yes. But uh, meanwhile, oh, in, yeah. in the catacombs, uh, the, the, those stupid-ass robots yes. recovered Ultron's mind oh, USBs. Oh, the brains. The brains, and give them to Alkima. Oh. Wait, they were there? Or they came afterwards? They, they came afterwards. They, came, they showed up because she, she escaped. Later, she escaped. She was right. freed. That and she's not even part of this book. <laughs> she's just the next book. Yes. Wow. But before you cry foul, so Akima will then make a really lame story where she'll create her own robot Avengers based on the brainwaves of the people they copied and they'll easily defeat them. I'm also Oof. sure that in all the rubble, those silicone chips didn't get damaged at all. No. So were they in Ultron? No, Ultron put them on like the wall. He, oh, had, like, okay. he had like a little like collector set okay. with, with their names conveniently above them. Right, and he had go. keys on them. Yeah. They're like, USB keychain. Oh yeah. Things, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It was all a big pegboard. I mean, they're just they're just little little circles that kind of look like weird Ultron. gears. Yeah. yeah. But uh, a classic Avenger story, or at least considered to be one. I remember Avengers West Coast and like older books like that being heavily rooted in drama. Mm. But this is one of those things where it's like, give them what they want. Give them the action. Give them the action. Give them the drama. But like, really ratchet up the visuals and yeah. and and the stakes. Like, it's never gonna be about, you know, a, a, a small factory of people being killed. Like, no, it's countries being annihilated. Entire it's, countries. It's the yeah. whole team is wrecked, you know. Just, yep. just rationing everything to 11. But also, the other thing, you gotta get in there. Yeah. Justice and Firestar. Yeah. Don't forget the agenda of pushing <laughs> characters that like nobody asked for being linchpins. Uh, yep. We need new characters. That's yeah. how we're gonna sell more books. Oh yeah, yep. well, that's how we sell more books and how we move to the future. Because of course, Justice and Firestar inherited the future and they are classic. <laughs> Modern day characters. You can't read a comic book without tripping over Justice and Fire. Agreed. Right? Here's the thing. We don't know why characters work. <laughs> so <laughs> what we do is we, we add new characters, and for every hundred new characters that we force into a yep. team, one of them will Make catch it. and uh, become, and, and you won't even remember when they weren't part of the team. Yeah, and you won't remember the legions of characters that we invented. <laughs> that came and went unceremoniously. That's DC. Yeah. At least... Every, DC every five, ten years does an event where they're like, how about this huge cadre of characters? I'll bet one of them will make it. Yeah, we'll, we'll create 30 new characters. And if we're lucky, one, one of them will might work, although probably still not. But probably not. <laughs> you know, like, I feel bad. I remember doing, in, in, in the Dark Matter universe, you know, they invented all those characters, yep. including Sideways. 
And people were like, Sideways is the breakout character. Well, Sideways book got canceled way early and is not in anything. So actually, there were no breakout characters. <laughs> yep. Sideways is the character that you remember because you were alive when that book was coming out. Yeah. And reminds you of Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it was like slightly better than all the others. Yeah. So. But that's still... Still, it still didn't make comfort. it. Yeah. Exactly. But Ultron Unlimited, fun, great but, looking. And Ultron Looks is really destroyed good. in this book. Yeah, yeah. he comes Again. back, obviously. Yeah, but yeah. Like, Ultron is defeated. Do they explain where he goes? They, like, does he download his I mean, the funny thing is that yeah. it's, never, it's never like there, there is no like prime Ultron who's like, I've made it. Like, it's yeah, always this is all me. If I'm Ultron. destroyed, yeah. that's it for Ultron. Because yeah. one of those chips is Wonder Man again. Right. Well, that's true. He could always. Well, Alkima can make an Ultron. Well, no. Remember, Wonder Man is Vision. Oh yeah. Right. But uh, but there is also a Hank Pym in there. That's oh, true. There is. Yeah, he did get a, his brain again for yeah, some reason. For some reason. I I assume he was. Uh, or well, he had maybe him strung he, up. So he was strung up, but maybe he was because I can imagine him being like, "No, I kept you for the for the hive mind thing. Oh Everybody right, else the hive is for mind the brain thing. backup thing. Right. It'd be great if they didn't take Hank. Everyone but Hank. Yeah. No, I got Hank. I got the best part of Hank. It's yeah. me, Ultra. Is there a what? Is, is there ever a book? in which the Avengers are like, I, I've had enough of these fucking Ultron. <laughs> Where are the backups? Right. Let's go destroy them. That. He can't be everywhere. Yeah. There are some limited number of places where he stored himself. Let's just yeah. find them all and wreck them. Yeah, Avengers public enemy Ultron. <laughs> and it's like they yeah. constant... Or, Avengers you know, end Ultron. of Ultron. End of Ultron <laughs> is a great name for a book. End or Ultron goes to hell. Yeah, the Ultron <laughs> protocols. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I, Avengers end of Ult end of Ultron is not bad because Marvel would definitely want to capitalize on a book that sounds like another book. Yeah. Secret <laughs> Ultron. Secret Ultron. Where there's always a hidden Ultron. There's always. always yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, the thing about end of Ultron yeah. is that the premise could be that like. Ultron is finally ended, but then you could always be like, oh no, actually there was one more. Yeah, there's always one more. <laughs> because you can't ever know for sure that there aren't exactly. more secrets. No. Well, once. But it'd be a good idea anyway. Yes, that's a hell of a story. That's, that's, that's it's a hell of a lie to sell people. Yes, <laughs> you can get away with that one more time. <laughs> yep. So I say go for it because. Yeah, why you know, not? Uh, it's all green. Do, yeah. Enjoy the book. It's in the comments if you can find it. Uh, I. I Marvel has this real big problem where they don't reprint books because they don't want to have a surplus in the warehouse, which is horseshit. Mm. What they really need to do is they need to have essential collections available at all times. So it's like, it's always in the consciousness. You know what DC does? They make sure, now on, on one hand, they have the fuck Alan Moore protocols. Where it's <laughs> like, make sure that Watchmen and V for Vendetta and all these other books are in print at all times. Right. But also, not a week goes by that Watchmen and other Alan Moore books aren't also fucking sold. Right. It's true. With Marvel, you need to have classic, enduring volumes on the shelves at all times. Like, you know what is always available? Crisis on Infinite Earths. Mm. A virtually impenetrable story <laughs> for a, a modern casual reader today, but it's always available. Their classic, enduring Avengers books should always be available. There should, the Claremont, Miller mm. Wolverine book should always be available. Like classic Spider-Man books should always be just on the shelf or in a, in, like in abundance. Amazon overbuys the stock so that their warehouses are full of mm. old Marvel books. But when they run out, then those book prices ratchet up to unseemly numbers. You oh, you want like, that? It's gonna be like three hundred dollars. Fucking seriously, you look at like an epic collection from Marvel that was published two months ago, out of print now, two hundred bucks on Amazon. <laughs> Blow me. No, that's bullshit. And it's not worth it because eventually Marvel will reprint those epic collections, but not until after the pre-orders are, are staggeringly high. Yeah. It's bullshit. It's a terrible policy and it only furthers to keep the brand down. It doesn't matter if like you're, if you've got unsold stock, it will sell. And if it doesn't, after like six years, fucking sell it at a discount rate because you're already yeah. getting a discount. You're in the publishing business. Right. That's what like every other company does. Right. And it's weird that they're not. Like yeah. any other company would be like, if we don't have product on the shelf, if if we We're sell out of something, we are losing money. Exactly. We are losing hypothetical money that we could have made. Yep. That like you don't want to do that. No. You always want to have enough to satisfy what people want the thing. Yeah. 
It's just weird. It's just, it's just business. Yeah. But at the same time, other companies aren't constantly creating old product. They're creating new product. True. Yes. Yeah, it's a little different in yes. publishing. That's true. They are making, and they're always churning out like a new trade, but that trade is a limited print run. And they don't call it limited because they print enough for everybody in, in, in the industry who's interested in a comic book. Yeah. But if like that book blows up or they do an adaptation, you gotta reprint that. And they're right. not going to until there's enough pre-orders and that's just bullshit. Maybe they're like, um, maybe they're scarred for when they went through bankruptcy. Yeah, Like definitely. they were just, we, we printed way too much the stuff is, and then we couldn't sell it and then it became worthless. We can't the, let that happen the again. The one guy in charge of Marvel at the top level is the same guy who was there during the bankruptcy. Uh. So it absolutely is that they are gun shy from like yeah. losing money and, 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 and spending too much. Yeah. Because the, the comic book industry in the 90s was the fucking wild west. You got <laughs> Disney backing you up, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah those days are over. Yeah, those days are over, man. You, it, you don't have to be afraid anymore. You think anymore. Disney just doesn't make shit? Yeah. I would love, by the way, this is totally unrelated, but I would love a Wolf of Wall Street-esque movie about the image revolution. Because those oh, be guys cool. got money like you wouldn't believe. They're buying Ferraris and like paying new upcoming artists and writers who had no experience and almost no talent. Like, <laughs> crazy <laughs> rates just to be in their pool. Yeah. I'm like, what? I would love to see that. Or some dramatization thereof. Yeah, yeah but it wasn't against the law. So no. who cares? It's, right, but like yeah. it's, no, but it's hedonism. Yeah. People it's love hedonism to sells. watch that on yeah. TV. Who would it be about? Who would be the main character? I mean, Todd and Rob. Todd, yeah. Todd and Rob. That's the yeah. main characters. Oh, one's the good yeah. guy, one's the bad guy. <laughs> or, better yet, both the bad guy. Right. Clash of the Titans. It's gotta be Todd and Rob. That's the, that's the movie. I would love to see the movie. Uh, who would play Todd and Rob? Let us know in the comments down below. Anyway, we'll see Todd's you guys. like, I will. <laughs> Baby, I will play myself. No yeah, fucking yeah, way. Yeah, but it was That's like 30 wrong. years ago, man. Yeah, Just fine. do that fucking old. shit. Yeah, do yeah, that, do that, do that de me. de me, yeah. <laughs> that costs millions of dollars. The movie's gonna make billions of dollars. No, no it's not. <laughs> yeah, this is like a Hulu movie at best. <laughs> anyway, <Yeah. laughs> thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys next time with another episode of Backish. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Keep reading. <laughs> that is a fucking great idea. Right? I'm, Holy shit. Yeah, that's actually too good to be in the episode. I'm gonna fucking <laughs> yeah, hold on to that. Hang on to that one. Because uh, I got another one for you. Ready for this one?